If you guys need any grinding done in season number five of my team, be sure to hit up my guy Rose NBA on Twitter. 100% legit and really reliable. Be sure to go hit him up. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Bio2K, and today, man, I'm gonna be bringing you a video talking about the mistakes you guys cannot make here in season five of NBA 2K22. My team, this season is actually looking really good, and I do really like a lot of the rewards that we have been seeing. Again, we got a brand new domination with the Galaxy Opal Paul Millsap. We have a good amount of challenges. Obviously, the spotlights return with all of these challenges that are gonna give you XP as well as other rewards. Excuse me, as well as other rewards. You have the signature challenge that does give you another Hall of Fame badge. Um, and then you also have these skills challenges as well. So, my God, of course I get hiccups right when I start recording. Why would I not? But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and kill that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so getting into the very first mistake here that I'm going to tell you guys not to go ahead and make. First thing right out the gate, you guys are going to see that it's actually not here for me. And the reason why is obviously I just did this in a different video. But the diamond shoe boost exchange that you guys can do every single hour. And I do put this in every single video because it really is that important. It literally takes like two seconds to go ahead and do. And you should have a ton of shoe boost. I do not open any packs on this account. And you guys can see I have literally a ton of shoe boost. They're literally vert like they're useless until you get to the diamond ones anyway. So make sure you guys do take the time to go ahead and do these exchanges. It's just going to be good free empty basically that you guys can go ahead and use now also looking into your collection what i'm going to say right out the gate is always look to sell stuff unless you're collecting cards for whatever reason always look to sell stuff that you are not using you can literally have a ton of value when it does come to you know injury cards badges all sorts of stuff like that that more than you probably even realize so take the time go through your collections and always look to go ahead i didn't even mean to lock that in i literally was about to say i'm not even joking i was legitimately about to say that if you're not going for a collector level sell all of these balls as well but you know, as I lock it in, I mean, don't, don't be me. That, that's, that's the advice I can give you guys right there. Don't be me. I mean, literally people are trying to still go for the unicorn ball and everything. So a lot of these basketball packs and everything still do hold value. Like this ball right here, I could probably sell for like 2,500 and it's literally just sitting in my collection. So it's literally things like that, that I'm saying that make sure you guys just go through take the time. You know, it literally takes a couple minutes and literally you'll probably make a ton more MT than you probably even realize. And I'm even saying this too with the diamond shoe boost as well. You could probably have a ton more MT in here than you guys probably even realize just based on again the fact that they're just sitting here. You know what I mean? Some value is better than no value. Even if you get the minimum of like 250 MT, that's still better than it just sitting in your collection. So definitely again take the time and go ahead and look to do that. Dynamic rating cards again right now are a prime example of this. If you guys are not, you know, going for collector level, this is a great time to go ahead and especially the mid-level guys this is a good time to go ahead and you know see if you can you know, maybe make some mt on some of these guys like right here garrison matthews i mean again i'm not going to be going for collector level i'm not playing with this card that is 2000 mt right there again that is just sitting in my collection so definitely make sure you guys do take the time to go ahead and do this now, obviously, you know that when I do talk about XP and everything, I do always like to talk about being efficient and everything like that. The main thing I want to talk about, though, when it does come to, you know, grinding and everything is one, do not forget about your daily challenges. They are some of the easiest things that you guys could do. Like literally, this can all be done in like maybe like 10 minutes, not even. You can also combine this with other stuff. So definitely make sure you guys get this stuff done. But more importantly, every single weekend, make sure you guys do complete your weekend warrior stuff, especially if you still need XP. It is a really good time to go ahead and do this sort of stuff because they do give you now at least they're going to be start giving us i guess good packs in this which is really good i mean i know a lot of people kind of like are like eh trust me like it's better than what we were getting before the prime time pack was just god awful and i'm very happy that uh that that is definitely you know something that is just hopefully gonna stop like hopefully we start getting good packs again the dynamic domination set make sure you guys do this as well i mean De'Aaron fox is a free galaxy opal that you guys are going to be able to use in future challenges maybe if we do finally get spotlight sims or anything like that like just make sure you guys do complete these i mean as you're growing, going through domination i mean you guys can literally just get this stuff done anyway so it's definitely well worth taking the time and doing and as as always going to your single player challenges the pickup challenge is really good to do every day as well especially in the beginning of the season when you're grinding xp this challenge would be perfect to go ahead and get a free pack that could potentially make you a good amount of mt as well so definitely something you guys don't want to overlook now something that i realized a lot of people did not see last season which is kind of surprising to me in these spotlight challenges here this final game here does give you a hall of fame badge option again at that level 39 pack and that level 39 pack is really good it does feature some good badges like 
like Sniper, uh, Clamps. I have it actually right here. Quick Chain, Pickpocket, and Posterizer. So by the end of the season, you're going to be getting three choices at this pack. Definitely recommend taking Clamps, Sniper, and I mean, if you're a dribbler, take Quick Chain, but Pickpocket is really good as well. And then obviously you do get that third choice being with the Beyond Level 40 stuff that will be dropping mid-season. So make sure you guys do go ahead and again, take the time to do that when it does show up. Now, I'm going to be making a video on this throughout the week, and I'm going to just kind of put it in this video as well. Do not lock in the 75th sets. I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be the worst mistake you guys can make in this game. I mean, especially if you are a budget baller, no money spent player, or like maybe like a little money spent player, you know what I mean? Do, do not just, I'm telling you guys right now, do not waste your time and do not waste your MT by locking in these sets. So far, we only know two of the lock-ins. The 2000s is Dwight Howard and the 2010s is Clay Thompson. And as I'm going to be saying fully in like a full breakdown video, this Clay Thompson that you're going to be locking in for, you're going to be locking in a ton of MT and he's literally going to be almost the same thing as this signed version of Clay that you can get for super cheap. And I'm telling you guys, just do me a favor and not lock in for the clay. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm begging at this point. That clay is not going to be, like, for 99% of this community, that clay is not going to play any different than what this clay will. So I'm telling you guys, it is not worth locking in tons of MT for literally the same exact card. The Dwight Howard might be a little bit worth it only because if you look at the set here, I mean, Melo's kind of cheap. Tim Duncan's cheap. Dirk is cheap. Like, Kobe's the only one that's a bid. So, I mean... I guess you can kind of get away with it there, you know, without really breaking the bank, I guess. But I'm still going to say right now, like, please, for the love of God, do not lock in those, uh, do not lock in those sets, please. It is not worth it. I'm telling you guys right now, it is 110% not worth it. Please do not waste your MT like that. Like, it's just, I know a lot of people, again, are going to be like, oh, yeah, it's Clay. Like, I trust me. I love Clay. Like, Clay's my guy. It's a waste of MT, man. Don't do it. Also, too, I don't even know if I said this already because I, I literally I'm recording a ton of videos in the row in a row. I am going on vacation. So you guys are going to be seeing me or seeing me wear the same stuff basically in the next like nine videos. Um, but yeah, card grading service, please. Please, 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 please do not do this. It kills the value on cards. Again, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people will avoid buying cards specifically because of the fact that they have a grade on it. Most of the time, you're going to get a seven. So unless you're doing it for XP, stay away from the card grading stuff. Final little pointers that I'm going to be giving you guys in this video. Obviously, right out the gate is going to be the lifetime agendas here. Um, and what I obviously am mainly talking about is going to be the uh, moments of the month stuff. I'm like, oh, I, duh, I already have it completed. I'm like, where is it? Yeah. Moments of the month is going to be expiring. Uh, I think it's March 8th, I want to say, that they did say that the new moments of the month is going to be dropping. So I definitely would make sure that you guys do go ahead and get Booker and get all of these players. I know people might overlook it right now, but I'm telling you guys, it is a ton of originally owner cards. You never know when you're going to be able to use or you know you never know when you're going to be able to need some of these cards for different challenges so it's definitely worth just going ahead and taking the time to do i mean waiting till now might be a little rough because they're probably going to go kind of nuts and you know you're going to end up getting a lot of people that are sweating you online but other than that it is definitely worth doing and obviously as always don't open packs at empty i know it may be tempting but trust me you're never going to pull anything from empty packs i spent over a, i think i spent 1.7 mil I want to say on my main account, um, opening up the all-star packs and I never once pulled a dark matter out of 1.7 million MT. Trust me, do not do it. It is not worth it at all. You're going to end up wasting your MT. Um, now this actually final tip that I want to give you guys is something that I've never said in a video before. Um, don't badge out rewards cards. I, when I say that, I mean, I know somebody's going to be like, somebody watches the video is going to be like, ah, oh, what is he now? It is such a waste of badging up a, a rewards card. Please, on everything, do not do that. I promise you, it is not going to help you at all. You are not going to make MT the way, or you're not, you're not going to be able to make MT off the card. And rewards cards, nine times out of 10, do get outdated more than anything. Like maybe a guy like Kazzy you could do, but like, trust me, it's not worth it. Like even Tatum, Tatum is fire, but I'd still just, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's probably not worth doing. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, I appreciate you guys watching this video and uh, yeah, peace.